Hello, I'm Professor Catherine Gelber, the Head of the School of Political Science and International Studies at the University of Queensland. And I'm Professor Chris Roos-Smith and I'm the Director of Research in the School. First, I'd like to acknowledge the Indigenous owners of the land on which we meet today and do this presentation and pay our respects to their Elders, past, present and emerging. We recognise that we work on unceded Indigenous land. Secondly, I just want to introduce this video by saying that we have an opportunity this year presented by the very unusual circumstances to do something special for our PhD graduating cohort. They're unable to attend their graduation in person and so we wanted to do this as a small measure and to show them how important this moment is to us and, the, and to the school. Our PhDs are an extraordinarily important part of our community. Not only is the PhD itself the highest degree that you can be awarded in an academic institution, we also consider it as a mark of our own standing in the field that we have a large PhD cohort, but we also have a very talented PhD cohort. And our PhDs go on to jobs in academia at some of the best institutions in the world and have flourishing careers, and they go on to important jobs in significant areas in other sectors of society and economy. And one of the things about the PhD is that it's a three to four year project. The PhD students are in the corridors with us. We get to know them as part of the community and we see them as an important part of the community. But we also see them, the mission of educating our PhD students as extraordinarily important to the identity of the school. That our PhD students are, in many respects, thought of as the next generation. So in a sense, we're producing or educating the people that will, in addition to taking on other roles in society, become the, at the vanguard of knowledge leaders in their field. And that's extraordinarily important to us. It's a vocation and a mission. Yes, so without any further ado, we're going to have an unofficial graduation ceremony now where we acknowledge and pay attention to our new newly minted PhD graduates. So let me introduce each of these students uh, in turn. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to introduce Dr. Lorraine Cherney. Thank you. Dr. Cherney's thesis was called The Design and Implementation of Gambling Regulation, a Queensland Case Study. Dr. Katja Cooper. Thank you. Dr. Cooper's thesis was called The Rudd-Gillard Government, Asylum Seekers and the Politics of Norm Contestation. Dr. Paul Crawford. Dr. Crawford's PhD thesis was called Ontological Security and Migration, Beyond Securitisation and Identity Politics. Dr. Morgan Gibson. Dr. Gibson's PhD thesis was called Anarchism, Critical Theory and Emancipation, Towards the Realisation of an Ideal Speech Situation. Dr. Juliet Goot. Dr. Gout's PhD thesis was called Disaggregating the Enlightenment, an International Intellectual History of the English Enlightenment. Dr. Jessica Kirk. Dr. Kirk's PhD thesis was called Security as Politics, the US Securitization of the 2013 to 2016 Ebola outbreak. Dr. Chandra Gasuma. Dr. Kasuma's thesis was called Southeast Asian Regional Governance and the Domestic Politics of Portfolio Investment Liberalisation, the case of Indonesia. Dr. Christy Parker. Dr. Parker's thesis is called Indigenous Knowledges and Australian Universities. Dr. Megan Price. Dr. Price's thesis is called The Politics of International Legitimacy. Indonesia's and Sri Lanka's justifications for the use of force. Dr. Mohsen Soldost. Dr. Soldost's thesis was called External Support to Non-State Armed Groups and National Role Conceptions. I very, very warmly congratulate all of our PhD graduates on this important milestone and I'm so happy to have been able to do this for you. I hope you appreciate the milestone that this is and very, very warm congratulations from the whole school.